what's up guys and welcome to the codecom.org and today's video i'm going to give you a quick overview of dell precision 7670 and show you how to upgrade the ssd in ram so this specific uh, model is much newer and this comes with a lot of cool feature this is a mobile workstation for heavy load which you can use for 3d rendering or game development or uh, content creation so this specific model comes with uh, CPUs ranging from Core i5 to Core i9 which ranges up to 24 cores which is 8 performance and 16 uh, efficiency cores and you have options for choosing the dedicated graphics card uh, either from NVIDIA GeForce or uh, NVIDIA uh, ADA you can choose up to like ADA uh, 5000 or NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti so the specific model it comes with a 12 gen i7 which has 24 cores and it's a server CPU it can load uh, it, it can take a lot of load and you have options to upgrade the RAM till 128 gigs and the specific model supports three SSDs uh, which is M.2 Gen 4 and you can have RAID 5 up to 12 gigs at uh, 12 terabytes so technically you can use 4 terabytes and you can read it to RAID 5 and which will give you total of 12 terabytes so it does comes with a really nice uh, OLED 4K screen which is 60 Hertz and uh, and 500 in it. And this specific model is uh, you know, uh, this has a tender bezels on the displays, but usually those older models for thick, uh, big precisions they have thicker bezels. So, this is something cool about this. And the RAM on this model is a Dell ECC, which is error correcting, uh, uh error correcting code, uh, which will help. Uh, for uh, automatic error correction during the heavy load for the servers yeah so specific this model takes three ssds and in order to put the first ssd it's much easier you can pop up this cover here just like this and you have access for the first ssds and in order to put two extra ssds we need and upgrade the ram we need to take off the bottom case i got a bunch of ssds here which I will be using for upgrading the extra storage but I'm not going to put any more SSDs because this has the max amount of SSDs uh, already in it and yeah this is how it looks from the top and the display is pretty cool on this in the keyboard too and the display is OLED and this has more uh, angle Yeah, and let's open the bottom case and I will give you a, an overview of the motherboard and the places where we can put the SSDs in so as always I'm using my little precision screwdriver toolkit so this is mostly enough for most of the laptop repairs and this one uses like uh, Philip screwdrivers so I have a bit here I need to choose from this will do it this is a Philip screwdriver head and now we need to unlock these six screws so one two three four five six Yeah, as always remember sometimes these screws are coming off the case and sometimes most of the time it does not if, if it does comes out of the case it's either uh, the stand up is broken or the the cover itself it's uh, broken on this model because the screw is not coming off the bottom case on this model like I have one bed screw here 
which is not going all the way in. And in order to open it, like it's same concept, like uh, the uh, Dell, uh, most of the Dell Precisions, the tender ones, and the uh, XPS. So luckily, this in order to upgrade the RAM and uh, SSD in this, you don't have to open the keyboard. If you remember the old models, that is required to remove the keyboard in order to access the extra slots for the RAM or you, if you wanted to upgrade them or replace the motherboard I will use a plastic object so if you use any metal objects uh, it's not recommended to, and it make out of some uh, cables internally yep so this is the bottom case and this is the the quick access cover for the SSD whatever you want to call it yeah so this has impressive heatsink it's really heavy duty and this one here this is the RAM this is the processor and this is the GPU itself so this 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 model comes with the RTX 30 Ti 3080 Ti uh, which is 16 gigs uh, DDR6 and 16 gigs of video memory uh, which is more than enough for most of the games and a lot of tasks this here is for the display the digitizer and the uh, picture the output and if you want to put two more SSDs they are going here so which already I have installed two more SSDs right here uh, you can see you just need to unscrew this this and the screw and you can put more SSDs here the main SSD is here, which comes with the heatsink, and the uh, the rest of the SSD also comes with the heatsinks and thermal pads. And this is the battery. As always, you need to remove the battery first in order to proceed with the maintenance. We're not putting no SSDs in it because I already put two more SSDs in this laptop. And if you wanna upgrade the RAM, this is the RAM, and which is a way more expensive than the regular DIMM sticks. Uh, the DDR5 so this one comes with uh, uh, the standoff board so you need to get the Dell, the call Dell ECC so it's gonna be a expensive upgrade and they usually use some bridge mechanism to in order to connect the RAM with the motherboard so if you take off these screws there's like some pins it's connecting the RAM with the motherboard and this is the battery. I strongly recommend like uh, applying, uh, repasting your thermal paste, cleaning your uh, heatsink every six months. It will keep your laptop cool and running smoothly. Uh, which this laptop means to be like for heavy duty and more performance. You definitely need to do that. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys got what you need and now it's time to put it back together so it's so easy these two screws for the RAM this screw for the first SSD and these two screws for the second SSD and this is for the battery one two three and you can pop it open battery from here this connection and then you can proceed with the any type of maintenance or repair you want yeah and now it's time to put back the bottom case so we just take this remember the top the top part going first then the hinges uh, so the hinges goes first then the top part so if you push it's really easy as you can see it it fitted perfectly fine and now we need to put back the screws in and I'm using my Phillips screwdriver to screw it in the screws in the front are going in in the angle so just make sure you have that angle like 
maybe 40 to 30 degrees or more than 30 degrees Yep, it's time to test uh, laptop if it's still working. The, yep, it's turning on. We see the lights. It's a good sign. Just wait for the laptop to boot up. As you can see, start booting up. Yeah, so the screen on this one is so nice. It's OLED and has higher resolution. It's perfect. Has nice speakers and a lot of cool features. I hope you guys learned something new and please subscribe to my channel and like and comment on this video if you have any questions. I will answer it as soon as I see it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.